So, I got interrupted on the, uh, the first half of this video. I'm hoping to join this part with the last one. And I was on, uh, I think I was on Loctite. I would, I would recommend that for very heavy duty um, wallpaper. Because sometimes wallpaper on the edges isn't sticking. Something got in there, you use your vinyl over vinyl, doesn't work. You go to your other product. This is VOV, okay? This is what we call VOV. And so it's just a term for glue that we put wallpaper on with that's going over existing vinyl, all right? And so that doesn't work. Then you go to your, ex your extreme tack. That doesn't work. Here's your extreme tack. And then guess what? Here's what I recommend. I recommend that glue right here. Loctite Power Grab. All right? It's about four bucks. No, it's about eight bucks. So, of course, you're going to need a ladder. Now, if you look down there, that's my case for my uh, drill my impact driver and my drill. Oftentimes, you'll get into a situation where you have to take down a bracket or something. You need that on your truck. I will also tell you that this is a very handy tool because it collapses. What is this? Um, this is a large cold beer container into which you can put tons of ice and load it up with beer. Just kidding. This is a garbage, uh, I don't know, garbage bag. You put a garbage bag in it, it Velcros down, and guess what? You got yourself an instant garbage container on the job. Afterwards, you, co you uh, collapse it, turn the dirty side away from the driver, which is yours truly, and then you know, to store it nice and easily. So, oftentimes we're on jobs, no electricity. Highly recommend this tool. Craftsman, look at this thing. LED lights. No heat comes from this thing. This is what you want to get. Get rid of those halogen bulbs, folks. They're not worth it. Okay. You want to use these lights as well. Oftentimes, you'll be on a job where they got to shut down the electricity, uh, and so now you're left without a light in a bathroom or whatever. Got to have these lights handy, okay? Stud finder. Oftentimes, we're looking to replace racks or shelves over the wallpaper we install, and this will help you find your studs. Okay, what else? So as you come onto the truck, let's show them some of the staples that we use. Okay, so ch check this out. Put them in here. Now, caulking. Why, why do we have all this caulking? Honestly, I don't know why. I have no idea. No. Uh, I didn't actually know we had that much, but I'm, I'm glad you did this. This is awesome, my gosh. Look at all this. Okay, yeah. We were just... Uh, see, here's the liquid nails I was talking about before on a, uh, on a job in a hospital where we were putting Acrovin wall covering, and I decided to go with the Loctite. Now, if you're a painter, you'll need caulking. So let me just suggest that you use the Alex Plus uh, Fast Dry Caulking, and... Uh, because it's very dense material and it will fill in what you need it to fill in. Otherwise, if you are painting and, and trying to keep your paint off the floor, you want to use a tool that's called a hand masker. And um, here's our hand masker. It's important that uh, we know this. Our, our roll of tape goes here, right? Like this tape feeds out into the paper. This goes on your floor. Here's your wall. You want to put clear caulking over the tape so that your paint doesn't seep past your masking. You folks have done it. You've painted and then what happens? You you bleed through your, your, your tape, right? This is the way to prevent it. Get the clear 
If you're gonna use this to prevent the paint from going through your tape, you gotta use the clear. There's a reason for it. Okay. What else can I show you here? Um, T-square is really not important for wallpaper. All right, so you see this tool? Okay, so you saw that I had my uh, mixer down there, my drill. Uh, DeWalt, many of the companies make uh, mixers. Uh, you can put this on a drill. You want to stir your glue, okay? That glue is sitting for three months sometimes when it's purchased. You want to make it um, where it's nice and well mixed. Get something like this from a paint store, okay? I haven't used it yet. And, um, but I like it. I like the color of it. That's why I got it. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so what else? Very important tool for a paper hanger. This is uh, gasoline. And of course, you want to have these handy so that you can burn your worker if they get wise with you. And, um, so you want to, you know what you do with this. You um, you thin out commercial vinyl and make it easier for you to manipulate by using heat. Okay, and these are simply replacement um, replacement cartridges for that purpose. Now wallpaper hangers do not use gloves. We are a hands-on trade. You need to feel the paper. Uh, these are for other things that we do, like mixing compound and plaster. Now, many of you have uh, commented on me using rags while I do my job. I do not recommend that you wipe down wallpaper with these rags, okay? Here's what I recommend. That you use them when you sweat. Let me show you what I recommend these for. Okay. Sponges. Um, the sponge will be about 30% wet. What it does is it grabs the glue on the wallpaper, sucks it into the center of the sponge. That's what you want to use when you're cleaning down wall covering. This will give you a very abrasive approach. Takes the glue right off. You're going to pay a few bucks for this, but it's well worth it. Sea sponge. Okay. get yourself some water sprayers and um, because you want to wet down your glue because sometimes it dries you just want to make it it moves more easily okay so what else we got let me show them okay VOV Show them this. This is for uh, when you're putting vinyl over existing wall covering. Now you see these, these are paint samples, okay? Why do I have these paint samples here? Because when we hang wallpaper, particularly dark colors, you want to paint behind the seams because you don't want the customer telling you that they can see the seams. And so you simply put the color of the wall covering behind the seam, and that's exactly what they tell you to do on the directions and so that you can hide the seams more easily. People think that wallpaper hangers are magicians and that you're not going to see seams. I will tell you that for the most part you won't see the seams uh, with a good installation. However, the challenge is with dark colors and it's not always the case that you're not going to see the seams. You want to have sufficient electric, here you go, you know, at least 50 feet of uh, electric cord and um, you want to have enough rollers depending on what kind of uh, installation you're doing this is a great way to apply glue but you're going to need the table see the tables behind there just show them the wallpaper tables that we use those are the tables you put out in your backyard for picnics i have uh, wallpaper pasting machines and uh, if you're going to use tables, make sure that you get yourself clamps. Why? Well, 
this eliminates the need to have another person standing there holding down the paper while you glue it. And it doesn't let it move. Okay. So, what else? I have here a paint, a paint gear. In here I have rollers, brushes, stuff like that, tape, because I do also painting. And also, you want to have clean drop cloths on all of your jobs, particularly commercial projects where the electricians are there, the ceiling guys are there, the floor guys are coming tonight. Here's what happens. They make a mess and your wallpaper gets all uh, grit on it and underneath it. You need to be putting this up against the wall on the floor so that you don't collect any of the dirt that some of these commercial projects have on their floors. Okay, so. This is a tool. Here, let's show them this. These are smoothers. Okay, you don't just use one smoother. So you wanna have uh, a couple of extras. These are very firm wallpaper uh, smoothers. And as you can see that they come from Sherwin Williams. Some of them are soft. The ones that come from Lowe's, don't use them unless you're using very thin wallpaper that can rip. Otherwise you need this. You need them. So I use these. These are great to get in little areas like this, four inches, and then like this, six inches, and then like this, 10 inches. So it's a great tool. And also, if your worker gets wise with you, you can just accidentally do that and then say, I'm sorry that I just stuck you. Usually it works. So, one of my other smoothers is a gadget that I got at PPG Paints. And I, I really like these, they're substantial. But I don't recommend that you do what I do. Don't cut against them because you wind up gouging the plastic and you get a curved tool. Well, that's why I have 50 of them here, but I don't want you going out buying 50 of them. So I have this eraser, Art Mines. I got this from Michaels. And this is what you want. You don't want to use this on peel and stick. You want to use this. Why is that? Peel and stick is very delicate. You can get the bubbles out with a very gentle eraser. And that's basically it for wallpaper installation. All right. Um, I'll just show you my, my individual tool pouch. What does a wallpaper hanger keep immediately accessible? You do not climb ladders with something that weighs 30 pounds and wind up with back trouble. You want a hammer accessible. You want what I call your dental tools on the job. Sometimes commercial vinyl, you gotta pull it off. Okay, just check this out. When I picture yourself at the top of a ceiling, you can't get a bubble out. You wanna do this to the wall covering. See that? You're able to do that. Okay, so I use, I use both of them. You wanna have a black magic marker handy. Why is that? Watch this. Sometimes your tools take off, right? Also, it smells good if you get bored. You can smell it and entertain yourself. But also, you can label your paint. Listen, painters, if you're using blue and you run out and you get more, this is just a suggestion that you do this. Take some of the glue that went on the first two rooms or the first two walls, save it. Because in the end, if you got to touch up, you want to have the same paint that you were using when you mixed it all together, save it, and you want to put down first mix. So there's many reasons why you want to have a magic marker. Do you understand what I mean? So when you, when you buy new paint, it's never the same color. It looks it. But you wanna, you wanna write down on the can, mixture number one, or whatever. 
or on a brush that you wrap up at the end of the day. Uh, bathroom as opposed to bedroom and you're using multiple brushes you want to put down on a black magic marker. Okay, scissors, absolutely a must. A square, I use this to tell customers, your corners are crooked. They say, no, they're not. They're not crooked. You're crooked. And then I just want to show them this. Just check this out. Make believe this thing is in here. Let's just take it off. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Okay. So when you're a wall, just show them this, this, uh, this perfect fit. If you, if you put this in a corner, now show them this. If, you, if you're getting this in a corner and not this, well, your, your, your pattern is going to be off. So you want to you wanna have that handy. This is for a single edge installation. You want to put your single edge blade in here. And then you can cut down commercial vinyl. And it makes a very thin slice. So you use that. This takes off switch plates. And it has a bunch of attachments. This is your level for over closets when your three foot or four foot can't fit. And you just go like this right above a closet. Okay. These scissors are for when these scissors fall. And so you don't have to get off the ladder. You want to keep a couple. Now, why do I have a shaving blade on my pouch? It is not to do this. Although I do do it sometimes. When you're using organic material or certain kinds of uh, grass cloth, you do get strings or you're hanging string and you want to quickly go up and do th this is an example. Check this out. Watch this. I'm not marring the surface of this bungee cord, but look at that. I took a lot of that mess off of there, didn't I? And that's the same thing you're going to do with with a uh, with an organic uh, wall cover, some organic wall coverings. You don't want to be messing with it, touching it too much. You just take a clean blade and shave off the uh, the fuzz. Now, I have paintbrushes because I dip it in the glue and I I the glue dries, and so you want to reapply it. How do you do that? With a brush. You uh, want to put on a cu customer doesn't have a nozzle on their hose you carry one to the job one two three you get the picture multiple pencils okay you want to have a little scraper on hand too for many reasons and so here you have small blade large these things fall when you're up on the ladder and so I have many this is a nail punch sometimes you have a nail sticking out you just want to punch it in and make sure it doesn't come through your wallpaper and so you want that tool on your belt as well and then you have to have replacement blades okay you you don't want to get you don't want to get to a job and you only have one blade and a half. It's not professional. And so, this is one of many color uh, pencils I have. It's water based. You get a dark blue, you get a white mark on it, just like this, folks. That's the way the pros do it, that's the way you're going to do it. You're not cheating, this is the way we do it. Get yourself markers. Now, this is one of my favorite stash items. Okay, and we'll end it after this. Lots of blades, extra blades, single edge blades. And a bunch of smoothers. I go to the store, I get extra smoothers, and you want to have them handy, okay? This is 
oftentimes you come into a situation where you need this. And so I just, it's my go-to pouch. I bring it to the job sometimes. And hey, there you go. If you have any questions about what I have on this truck, leave me a note. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.